This is a video on how to replace the keyboard on a Toshiba Portage P835-56X. This keyboard replacement is a little different than your standard one as there's not screws that hold this keyboard on, it's actually glued into the body. Um, I've already loosened the glue here. Um, you can see I've removed the battery and you want to start with the corner and I use just a, a standard nail here and you want to get underneath it to the point where you're lifting up the metal. Now don't worry too much about bending the keyboard, it will be pretty um, stuck on there, but you are replacing this one, and remember you're tossing this one away. So you need to use your fingers, again I've already released this so it's going to pop right up, but you can see how it just basically flips up like that. Now you do want to tip it towards you, because there is a ribbon cable underneath. Underneath you'll see the ribbon cable surrounded by this green area here, and I've used just a knife, and what you want to do is remove, uh, separate these two by cutting around the green area so that the ribbon cable is no longer adhered. Another thing to note is when you are flipping up the keyboard or separating the keyboard, there will be this plastic, and that's an insulating plastic. You want to leave that on the actual laptop. So at this point, um, with the keyboard ribbon cable released there, you do want to close the laptop and flip it over. At this point you want to remove all of the screws from the bottom of the laptop. I've already done that and the ribbon cable here is here in the center, this black connector. So to remove that, uh, both of these levers on the ends just need to be pushed towards the front of the laptop. At that point, you can pull the laptop cable out of the attachment there. And then once you flip it back over, the old keyboard will then be released. Okay. Now I did purchase a new keyboard here and I'm not going to be able to show this on the video but you do need to think of a way to adhere the back of this keyboard to that insulating plastic. I'm going to use a multi-purpose adhesive. I just purchased this from Stapled a few years back for some crafts I believe. But it should work well and evenly hold this keyboard to that plastic. And the Installation is pretty much the reverse. Um, you're going to feed that ribbon cable back through, attach it there, and then glue this down. At that point, you simply reattach the screws on the bottom of the laptop. I will include a link to uh, the Toshiba forums that did help me, um, but I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys this uh, so you could see it in person because it is a little bit um, more atypical of your keyboard replacements.